Webster's Dictionary defines a friend as a person who you like and enjoy being with, or a person who helps and supports someone or something. I feel the definition doesn't do the term justice in a multitude of ways. A friend to me is someone who I love and trust upon with anything and everything. A friend is someone I devote my life to. You can't pick your family, but you can pick your friends. And I think that's important to note, because if you have the option to pick from over 7 billion people in the world, why choose a person who obviously doesn't care about you? People. Person. That's my biggest problem with the definition of friend. A friend to me is not defined as being a person. A friend to me is a shih tzu named Maya. Maya. She was black and white with a heart of gold. Black and white. Yin and yang. Yin and yang is defined as two halves that together complete wholeness. Perfect definition. Two individuals love each other very much. They decide to get married. As one is his or her own person, the other is the same. However, in matrimony, the two become one with each other. They share their lives with each other. They become whole with each other. Of course, this doesn't just stay in the marriage department. Eggs and bacon combine to form the perfect breakfast. Knowledge and confidence combine to form the perfect student. Love and trust combine to form the perfect friend. The perfect companion. Maya, my second half to the whole. I'll never forget the unmistakable jingle of her collar every single time I would walk into the house. It could have been the absolute worst day ever, and somehow, hearing that jingle made everything a hundred times better. It was one of those specific sounds that get embedded in your head forever after hearing it for just the first time. Like the first time you hear the ice cream truck. And like an ice cream truck, the jingle of her collar could bring a smile to any child's face. That's the beauty of having a pet. It could be any little detail about them, and that detail is something that will stay with you forever. Even without talking, they are capable of understanding you and being your biggest supporter in your times of need. They are able to love endlessly. We always talk about having the best or smartest pet in the world, and I am no exception to that. To me, Maya was the best and smartest pet I knew. I could still remember when I was a little kid, and we both simultaneously ran upstairs and hid under my bed when it was thundering and lightning outside. I will always remember how much she loved to cuddle, and how she slept at the foot of my bed every single night. Sometimes I'd be in bed before her, and sometimes she'd be waiting for me to come into my room and fall asleep. I will never forget the feeling of her tongue constantly licking me, cleaning me as if I were her baby. Her tongue was as tough as sandpaper, but as loving as a mother's kisses. I'll never forget the little patch of white fur at the top of her head and how much I loved to twirl my fingers through it. Maya was literally a memoir. A memoir of all the memories I had as a child. I never needed a journal to write down all my fondest times as a kid. As long as Maya was there, it will always be a strong memory to me. And it's crazy that I look back and see just how much Maya got to see in her time of being alive. She was only 11 months old when 9-11 happened, 4 years old when Hurricane Katrina happened, and 13 years old at the time of the Malaysia Airlines Flight 370's disappearance. She lived through three U.S. presidencies, from my first year of preschool all the way to my junior year of high school. Maya was there. From learning how to tie my shoes to getting my permit, Maya was there. As far back as I could possibly remember, Maya was there. Love is a chemical reaction. All these crazy substances form to create something powerful. Friendship, generosity, trust, the ability to never give up on someone and to only push them forward with you. Put these all together you get the most beautiful reaction possibly imagined. In this day and age, it's hard to truly love anymore. Everyone is so caught up in technology and focusing on what they have to do in order to be a success 
that they forget to look around and see the people who got them where they are in the first place. There it goes again. People. In the end, you're always going to have people in your life that want to make a difference and an impact on you. Your parents, friends, spouse. But then there's a lucky few of us that have these little furry creatures that though they may seem unable to understand and love the same way as humans, they can do so much more for you. A dog knows. To quote underdog, there are no bad dogs, only bad owners. If we all just show nothing but love and compassion to them, somehow, almost magically, you will see more than just a pet. You will see a friend, a family member, someone who will be your biggest supporter and who will love you unconditionally. The fact that before Maya passed away, my best friends came to visit her and take pictures with her. The fact that my whole household was shattered at the news of her being diagnosed with lung cancer. The fact that my other Shih Tzu, Layla, who is well known for being a little diva, understood what was going on and was extremely affected by her big sister's illness. It just proves. Maya lived a good life up until the end. And I'm glad I was a part of it. At the end of it, all the support and love showed. You always wish you could do more for someone when you know they're leaving you. I know I do. But in the end, I know I made a huge impact on Maya's life, as she did for me. That's the biggest honor I could possibly bear. It's funny how things all happen for a reason. We got Maya at a puppy barn almost 15 years ago. We chose her. I'm beyond thankful we made the right choice. I'm so happy she was in my life. I'm so happy she always will be. Even without being physically here, Maya will always be the yin to my yang. And to me, my family, my friends, anyone and everyone who ever met Maya, Maya will always be more than just a pet.